and in the here and now of each day to draw upon our deepest cultural my visit takes place at a time when men and women of good will are marking the anniversaries of several great Americans. If we want opportunities, let us provide these opportunities. Lincoln Liberty Martin Luther King Liberty in Plurality and Non-Exclusion Dorothy Day Social Justice and the Rights of Persons This conviction has, has led me from the beginning of my ministry to advocate on different levels the global abolition of the death all of us are quite aware of and deeply worried by the disturbing social and political situation of the world today. Here we have to ask ourselves, why are deadly weapons being sold to those who plan to inflict untold suffering on individuals and society? The challenges facing us today call for a renewal of that spirit of cooperation which has accomplished so much good throughout the history of the United States. With a good synthesis of your work, you are asked to protect by means of the law the image and likeness fashioned by God on every human life. <laughs> For those peoples and their nations from the art of American democracy, I wish to reaffirm my highest esteem and appreciation. Those first contacts were often turbulent 
and violent. But we know that it's very difficult to judge the past by the criteria of the present. I would like to mention four of these Americans. Abraham Lincoln, Martin Luther King, Dorothy Day, and Thomas Merton. When it fosters a culture which enables people to dream of full rights for all brothers and sisters, as Martin Luther King so to do. Politics is instead an expression of our compelling need to live as one. Now savilutinile. Now savilutinile. Now savilutinile. Born of great injustices, which can be overcome only through new policies and new forms of social consensus. And I have no doubt that the United States and this Congress have an important role to play. I know that many Americans today, as in the past, are working to deal with this problem. It goes without saying that part of this great effort is the creation and distribution of wealth. We must move forward together as one in a renewed spirit of fraternity and solidarity, cooperating generously for the common good. As never before, from within or without, fundamental relations have been called into question. The contemporary world 
with its open wounds, which affect so many of our brothers and sisters, we need a conversation which includes everyone since the environmental challenge we are undergoing and its human roots concern and affect us all. How much has been done in this first years of the third millennium to raise people out of extreme poverty. Moses leads us directly to God and thus to the transcendent dignity of the human being. This that required and requires courage and daring, which is not the same as irresponsibility. For working to realize their great and noble aspirations, who are not led astray by facile proposals, and who face difficult, difficult situations. It can be fruitful source of prosperity from the area in which it operates, especially if it sees the creation of jobs as an essential part of its service to the common good. And in times of crisis and economic hardship, a spirit of global solidarity must not be lost. This year marks the 150th anniversary of the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln, the guardian of liberty, who labored tirelessly that this nation under God might have a new birth of freedom. We know by faith that the Creator does not abandon us. That 
Zef ja ponil. Zef ja ponil. I would like all men and women of God will in this great nation to support the efforts of the international community to protect the vulnerable in our, in our world. We still have time to make the change needed to bring about a sustainable and integral development for we know that things can change. Represent positive steps along the path of reconciliation, justice, and freedom. I find it encouraging that you are proposing an initiative for reducing air pollution. So, so that our brothers and sisters everywhere may know the blessings of peace. That goes. That goes. That goes. I thank you for your welcome. And, look, and I look forward to these days your country. God bless America. The awful young. The awful young. The awful young. Our common home has been part of this group of the excluded, which cries out to heaven and which today powerfully strikes our homes, our cities, our societies. Very important, and this has just been given out to the press two seconds ago, no leader especially a religious leader, should have the right to question another man's religion or faith, especially when they feed all sorts of false information into them. Vote in the wheelchair. Vote in the wheelchair. Vote in the wheelchair.